The idea is that uh, uh, artistic, scientific creativity can be linked to business and uh, to social change. I think it's positive to link the worlds of science and art to the worlds of business and politics. But I would like to say this, and I do it every time, and, and, and uh, we, we must not subordinate art and science to, to markets. If we do that, we kill creativity. If your guys were only thinking about money when you were doing this fundamental work, you would try to hide your ideas and think, how could I get the money out of it? So, and the same with culture. I mean, we want, we want culture to interact and sometimes perhaps go into some commercial activity, but we don't want to transform the basic incentives to only to be about money. As much as we was, want to commercialize uh, uh, culture, we want to cultivate uh, commerce. We want to uh, learn from the area of art and culture and science the lessons we have drawn there should be moved to business, not only as input to innovation, but also to mode of organizing things, leaving people in business a chance to be creative, to have some time, and not only to think about very short-term issues. Some people mainly think, how can we exploit culture? How can we exploit science for industrial purpose and competitiveness? If this is all it is about, I'm not there. I think that would kill creativity in innovation in the long run. The world outside has very strong ideas about how education should be. So even teachers with very good intentions are very afraid to do too much experimenting because then they say, what are you doing with your child? They should learn mathematics. They should learn English. They should learn this and they should learn this. So wh what are you doing now? Huh? So I think this is a major challenge. We should think about how can we, how can we promote this kind of change? Creation is, is, is work. Creation is work. Work is creative. Creativity and innovation is not the concern only of artists, scientists, engineers, managers, and policymakers. I think for many people, innovation policy is a very alien concept. It's something you think this is for managers, this is for scientists, and it doesn't have to do with me. We find that the proportion of people in different countries who do creative work is very, very different. And in some countries, a very big proportion of what he would call the working class is actually doing creative work. If we have democratic education systems which are open and combine theoretical and practical education in a good balance, we have more creative work in the national economy. If we have more what we call flexicurity, which is a kind of high degree of flexibility, but also some fundamental economics security for unemployed people and strong active labor markets, we have more creative work. We can show this is statistically significant. This manifesto is going to be about many things with a strong focus on education. But I will also insist that we need to take into account the factors and the institutions that shape the possibility to promote creative work for a growing uh, proportion of people in Europe. Thank you very much. What uh, Damien Kumar is doing is extremely important especially in the sense of, of uh, trying to think deeply about how you can make schools uh, contribute to, to creativity. What you do in school is that you expect to get the right answer. This is the good student gives the right answer. And, and, and your point is really this is not what we should ask for. What makes us move in the scientific world, in terms of creativity, it's a lot to do with competition. It's not competition about money, but it's competition about the honor of being the one who creates new things.